Hello, my Aquarius, my air signs. This message is going to be for you. Um, well, not actually for you, but it's going to be about your ex, the X files, okay? And also, too, I'm going to um, upload a video called The Evolved Ones, okay? That video is just for the air signs, too, as well. Um, for my Libras, my Aquarius and on um, my Gemini's, but it's not going to be about love. It's just like what you need to do to evolve, you know, to get yourself through this month and everything on what you need to work for. But this message here, like I said, is going to be about your exes. You know, are they thinking about you? You know, how the chip fall? It may even just give us an insight on what's going on in their life right now. It may not even reflect on um, whether or not if they're going to try to reach out with for you, to you. But yeah, um, Aquarius, let me see what I got. Awakening. Someone is undergoing a spiritual transitioning. Okay, transformation. Okay, so like I said, this is going to be on um, the X-Files for Aquarius, someone rising in Venus concerning their exes, where they are. Um, If you would like to have a personal reading, the information will be just below the video. It is there. And also, too, let's do the disclaimer. If the shoe fits, wear that shit. Cylinder relevant. And if it doesn't apply, let it fly. Don't try to slip on a size 9 and a size 6 shoes. Then don't try to get in where you don't fit in, okay? There's other tarot readers that's here that more than likely have your message. But I'm hoping that um, this resonates with some of you, okay? Or all of you. I'm sorry. Different pages, okay? You and this person don't share the same vision. And then take time to get to know one another, know each other. This, you know what? I'm getting a sense with this reading here. With what just came out. Let's go through it again. Awakening. Someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation. Different pages. You and this person don't share the same vision. And... Go slow, take time to get to know each other. This could be one person, and this could be very, you know, three different energies. Energies. So this more than likely why is it saying go slow and get to know one another? Maybe your ex, you and your ex um did not work out well because there were some things that this individual needs to work on. You were on different pages. You had different goals and different visions in life. Um, this individual, there's certain things that you like. I'm getting a sense of Aquarius, like you are like the risk taker. Um, but then your person isn't. You're trying to find ways to move forward. And this person is just not what, what, what was not on the same page as you. But those of you who have the energy of your own. Um, if you have the energy, okay, to go slow and take your time to get to know each other. I'm getting a sense that, yeah, that this was your ex. But I feel like maybe you guys jumped the gun and the relationship just went so fast forward right away. And it's just telling you to go slow and take time to get to know each other. So this could be an energy of someone actually is coming back, okay? Um, and you both know that you guys were on a speed chase. In the relationship, like the relationship just took off very quickly and then it just crumbled. Okay. But before I move on, let's 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 look at this awakening. Holy Spirit, Father God, Aquarius, Sun, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and in Venus. Give us three cards about this awakening for their ex. Someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation. Okay, why is this card here? Okay, you got um the five of swords here in reverse. You have the lover's card here in reverse and the knight of wands here in reverse, okay? So this person, I feel like someone was ghosted, okay? There was a lot of arguments, but I want you to know that your, your ex right now is in a sense of remorse and they're very sorry for what's going on. And like I'm saying now, this person, either this is three different energies or this person may come back, take time to get to know one another, um, because I'm feeling like it was a lot of conflict in that relationship. And this is why you have the five of swords here in the verse. Um, this person does want to reconcile with you. So some of you could be, some of you I'm going to say is basically is your ex. But 
then again, it's like y'all have in and out energy with, with, with this person. And then some of you, like with this nine of wands here in reverse, it's just like stagnant. It's not moving forward. Or this person could have just ghosted you. And this is like, you know, there's just some things that I need to take time in. And, and they're having a spiritual awakening right now or a transformation. You see, and the transformation could be, you know, that they're realizing that they only need to be with just one person and not many others. Okay, let me see. Holy Spirit, clarify this five of um, swords here. What was this in reverse? And then, and, and you know what? Your ex, for some of you, your ex got into a relationship with someone too as well and it didn't work out. And this person is realizing that they need to work on themselves. Or it could be vice versa, um, Aquarius. You know, you had an awakening moment and you knew that you need to move away from this individual because there's just so much competition here. But I'm getting the energy like it could be either or like for the cross watchers, it could be the Aquarius who was in this mode here, okay? And they're having an awakening moment. But there is a break here, of course, because you have the lover's card here in reverse. Could have been dealing with the Gemini. Um, so there is a break here. I'm getting like with this lover's card here, like this person has like a sun and moon type of energy. You know, one minute they, they will be happy with you and the next minute um, they're not happy with you. You know, it's like, night and day with this individual you never know exactly what you're going to get from this person um but i feel like yeah like they're really working on themselves let me see holy spirit what is this five of swords energy here in reverse it's five of swords energy here in reverse aquarius sun moon rising and venus yep look and you got the five of wands here the five of swords the five of wands oh shoot um, some things came to an head. Some things were, this person, okay, this person really wants to, I'm hearing they don't want no conflict in their life. They really want to get themselves together. Holy Spirit, please clarify um, the lover's card here in reverse. Well, that's the lover's card here in reverse. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, the Lover's card. So this is all about change. Yep, see the Two of Cups here. Okay, this person wants you back. They realize that they need to do better. Okay, Holy Spirit, please clarify the Knight of Wands here in reverse. Okay, so your person, Aquarius, is in a heavy transformation of changing themselves to get you back. The Knight of Wands here in reverse for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, their ex. Why is the Knight of Wands here in reverse? Okay, the Seven of Cups because they realize they realized the actions that they were that they were doing against you that they need to stop. They was coming in with night energies. Okay, they need to stop and transform their ways. They're coming to a realization on a lot of things. Okay, this could be like that Playboy energy, the Seven of Cups. You know, looking at this too, maybe they need a transformation or, or, or from um them having an addiction problem you guys didn't see eye to eye on a lot of things and this is why you have different pages okay you clashed a lot in this relationship you know i feel like you really had love for each other but you really clashed a lot in this relationship you didn't meet the same goals y'all were on two different on um, playing fields you were high vibrational they were low vibrational okay but now they have had their awakening moment to where listen they want to they want to have this with you you got lovers look you got the two of cups here and and the lovers card here okay let me see this different pages holy spirit different pages please clarify the different pages here for aquarius sun moon rising and in venus regarding their ex they no longer want to be out there they're seven of cups in reverse they're no longer in a fantasy land they no longer chasing for a fantasy i feel like this individual is on the brink of they're realizing you know what 
all them women or them men that I sleep with or I dealt with, all them addiction, that was just to mask the pain that they had, all the conflict they had. You got fives here twice, the five of swords in reverse and the five of wands here in reverse. They want to stop all this conflict within themselves and, and with in between you guys. And if you guys don't work out, you know, they got to go slow. They want to move, they, they want to be aware and assure themselves that they don't, um, whatever mistakes they made in this relationship, that they don't do this again. Okay, because like I said, all that sexual tension with people, you know, having sex with people, being promiscuous and stuff, they come to a realization that this shit here needs to end. Okay, and it's just a temporary fix that, you know, yeah, you may see somebody, you may go out there and cheat on that individual and it's all hot and heavy, but it's, it's all a fantasy. When people cheat, it's a fantasy until real life hit. When you come live with each other, then real life hit. Now it's no not now you're not lusting over that person anymore because it was based on shaky ground. And it is, your person is having an awakening period. Okay, it's different pages, Holy Spirit. <clears throat> you need three cards for different pages for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and in Venus. Let's see. Yep, the Ten of Pentacles here in reverse. So y'all, certain views. Yep, look, y'all got a lot of fives. A Five of Cups here. Y'all argued about money, and you had different pages, and you guys moved forward. Could have been dealing with the cancer. You see this? The different pages. Okay, there was argument. There was arguments about what was going on in the home with the money, the stability. One of you want more money, want to go out there and work for it. This person was just, you know, whatever X, Y, and Z. And this is for people who were on on the different pages, okay? And you realize that you had to move forward. You had to move forward and leave this energy behind because if you stayed here with this individual, <clears throat> nothing was gonna grow there, okay? Let's see. Holy Spirit, let's clarify this Ten of Pentacles here in reverse. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here in reverse for Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and in Venus, their X. And look, when I split the deck, the Devil card came up and the Seven of Wands. And you just gave up and you just moved forward. The Ten of Pentacles here in reverse. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, their X. Okay? What was this Ten of Pentacles in reverse about? Dang, you got the seven of swords here, not sabotaging yourself anymore. So some of y'all was possibly putting yourself on the line for this individual, okay? You sabotage, you, you probably lost a lot of money, a lot of things. Like, when you look at this, notice how they are playing chess, okay? They are playing chess here, right? And this is in reverse. You know, chess is a complicated game. And you were strategically trying to move in the world in a sense to where you could have more money and more stability, especially what happened after 2020, after 2020. And now we're in 2021 and you see that this individual was not going to make a move. They were not going to set goals. Everything was, was on your shoulders. Okay. And you had to move and it, and it self-sabotaged you for a lot. But I feel like this individual is sorry about this, though, okay? Now, let's go on with this Five of Swords, this Five of Cups here, okay? What is this Five of Cups here about? Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus regarding their ex. What is this Five of Swords here in reverse? I meant the Five of Cups here in reverse. Not in reverse. What is this Five of Cups here? Well, maybe, it's, maybe it should be in reverse because I'm telling you, they truly regret, Okay? Five of Cups here. Why is this Five of Cups here, Holy Spirit? Okay. The Six of Pentacles. Because, like I said, you self-sabotage yourself. You were done with it. Okay? And this person realized this too as well, Aquarius. You're showing up here. You could have been dealing with an Earth sign, the Ten of Pentacles. You were given a lot for this relationship. This person was not putting in the work like you were. Like, dealing with them was like dealing with charity work. What is this saying? Yep, the Ace of Pentacles here. You knew you was not going to have any new beginnings with this person, okay? And what about this chariot here? What about this chariot here? Spirit. What about this chariot? Yep, you move forward again. The Six of Swords. 
moving away y'all like got the hell up out of there you said oh no devil not today <laughs> but let me see for those who have go slow okay go slow and take time to each other to know each other okay holy spirit give me three cards regarding this why is it here why do they need to go slow why do we why do we need to go slow Mm, the judgment, awakening. Okay? Awakening. Know what you want. See things for what they are. The knight of swords. Okay? Awakening into anything that may cause you confusion. The star card here in reverse. You showed up here, Aquarius. Because you really need to reevaluate the situation and make sure. What I'm getting from this, the judgment card here. That is like taking accountability, knowing what is going on. The Knight of Swords here in reverse. The Star card here in reverse, okay? You understood why the relationship couldn't move forward. Why it was not going forward. You're understanding this now, okay? Because this person had a lot of conflict within themselves, but they also have an awakening transition. And this is for some of your, you exes, and I feel like for some of you Aquarius, you are having an awakening moment too as to why certain things wasn't healed or why I wouldn't move forward, okay, with the Knight of Swords here. Why the, why, the, why the universe wasn't lined up for you in this situation? Because, like I said, there's a lot of transformation going here. There was a lot of conflict, a lot of mental, and I feel like emotional abuse in the sense that I feel like this person was promiscuous. This individual was promiscuous. You was giving so much to this situation. It, it You were on different pages. This is why you got the Ten of Pentacles here in reverse. It sabotages, sabotaged you a lot, okay, in the sense of your financial goals. You were not on the same page with this person, okay? But somebody realized that they need to cut out this energy of being promiscuous. I just, I'm getting a sense of being promiscuous, just being out there, okay? Let me see. But they're gonna, but what I'm getting here, Aquarius, either you or that other person, they're gonna come back and they wanna reconcile with you. Cause you had the lover's card, the lover's card in reverse, and then the lover's card, I mean the um the two of cups upright. Okay, Holy Spirit, what other messages that you have here for this X for Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and in Venus. Oh, it says free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. And I feel like this is what you guys are doing. Okay. The six of swords here in the chariot, you're leaving all this behind and you're having your awakening moment as well. And that's why I said, this is going for you Aquarius and your ex. So somebody's in this mood in, in this mode of, I got to, you know, we're on different pages. We needed to go slow and I'm having my awakening moment and I need to move. Okay. It's time to take back control over your life. So I feel like this person had addiction, okay? Their promiscuity was, was really consuming you. It was just too much, okay? Emotionally, okay? Chemistry. There's a strong ma magnetic attraction here, okay? Hold on. I'm getting the sense that, Aquarius, if you do not take this X back, you're going to fall for someone who you have this chemistry with, okay? And this is why you have the cards here, go slow. Go slow and take a look at this new chemistry, okay? And make sure the chemistry is right and it's not just combustible or, 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 or starting too quick. Oh, shit. Hold on now. Let me pull one more card out. It's from the angel romance. Ah! Wedding. This situation involves a wedding. So some of y'all going to be, you know, this chemistry, this person that you go slow on with, this newfound love that's maybe going to come around and maybe it is your ex. But after they have this transitioning, that there's going to be wedding bells because somebody realized you got a lot of fives on this debt and judgment. Somebody realized that there are a lot of transitions that need to be made in their lives for them to get it right. Okay? 
we pull from this, these three. Let's see what else we got here, Holy Spirit. 11, 11, 11. So some of you may be seeing this. is an important number that twin flames, it symbolizes the harmony and balance of soul counterparts. So if you are seeing this number, that's why. Because someone is coming, coming to you and some of y'all need to free yourself so you can meet this new person with chemistry. Okay. Let me see what else is here. Tested. Yep. Your strength and weaknesses are being tested. Yes, they are. And this is why you're having awakening moments here and the judgment card here and to go slow because you really need to really reevaluate so that you don't pick up the same thing like you what you had before what you left. OK, and your ex could be tested, too, as well. This is why they are having it in a make it awakening moment. I'm surprised the tower. I didn't pull any tower cards. Okay, but maybe it's because they are, maybe it's because they're having their awakening moment before the tower actually happened. Intense. The intensity of a true soul connection includes great highs and great lows. And I think that that was a part of the issue in y'all um, relationship too as well. It was too many lows. And not enough highs in a sense. It, it just seemed like you just could never have a breakthrough with this individual. And this is why you just, you got the hell up out of there. By land and by air, you got the hell up out of there. And this is why. Okay? So with that being said, I am K-Star Moon Life After. Like, share, comment down below. And I will see you guys next time. And don't forget to, to subscribe if you want to have a... Um, reading the information will be below okay see you next time